بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد If you want to know the madhab of the salaf, the minhaj of the salaf, the salih, ahl sunnati wal jama'ah, how they spent their evenings, how they spent their nights. They didn't spend their nights backbiting and speaking about this and, and wasting time or watching things that were inappropriate or doing involving themselves in vain and wasteful conversations. But here's how, let's look at this picture of how they, li how they live their lives. This is the part of the madhab of the salaf. رضي الله تعالى عنهم beginning with the Sahaba of Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه جزت الليل ثلاثة أجزاء ثلث أصلي وثلث أنام وثلث أذاكر فيه حديث رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم so Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه he said I divided my evenings into three parts. A third of it, I would pray it during. Uh, another third, I would sleep. And then the other third, I would remember or revise hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning yatadhakar or udhakar he would he would make revision or um, to to make revision and so forth, and then one ibn Jarir, rahimahullah taala, كان عمر ابن دينار يجزى الليلة ثلاثة أجزاء ثلث ينام وثلث يصلي وثلث يذاكر فيه الحديث. So Ibn Jarir rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that Amr ibn Dinar rahimahullah ta'ala, he used to divide his evenings also into three parts, as Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu did. A third in which he would sleep, a third in which he would pray, and a third in which he would uh, remember the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa la alayhi wa sallam. And this is a, a lesson for us in our lives to try to apply and use our evenings, use our day and our, our nights in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make, to make our homes a majlis of dhikr, to make our homes a place of remembrance, not a place of of death or a place of sin and wickedness, but to strive to make our houses alive. Alive with what? With the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the remembrance of His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, revising his hadith, revising his statements, how he lived his life, how he interacted with people. And to follow the madhab of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.